of a reviewer. So let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, this is your friend Donald I'm back again for another video review. As you can see, we're going to continue my look at the Power of the Primes Dinobots with the Deluxe Slug here. Or, personally, he's Slag. I don't care what Hasbro and that say, he's Slag. He will be Slag and will always be Slag for me. But before we get into looking at Slag and all this stuff, I want to look at his cards right quick. As I mentioned before, all the Power of the Primes figures come with one of these cards like this. Like I said, they only come with one, but I have three from doing deals and stuff. Because I would like to collect all 12 of them for each Prime, for each of the... Like, I want to collect the Dinobots plus Prime, so I want to get the Enelita one. Maybe even Moon Racer too, but... And the other, some of the other Fembots, but I would like to get these, a complete set for these. But as you see, I have three of them. And we'll look at these three real quickly. First we have Megatronus Slug, which erases enemies from existence. Pretty cool. Also have Micronus Slug, or Slag, Power Links with, to share his fire breathing ability. Definitely works considering he's a part of a combiner of Volcanicus. And then lastly we have Alchemist Slug, or Slag, lowers the melting point of any substance. Definitely works with his fire breathing ability. But as I mentioned before in my previous video with Slash, and what I will mention in my other videos, if you guys have any of the other cards for slag here uh, and you're willing to part with them comment below let me know and we can I'll get back with you and we'll work something out for them but again if you have if you have those be sure to let me know but let's look at slag here slag is very very cool definitely looks like his G1 self I love the clear translucent pieces bits here on his basically right here on his uh, hip and here on his face and of course on his tail I love those aspects I also love the grit the silver paint that they use definitely does because the the G1 aesthetic to it. I kind of wish this was a little bit lighter. The basic the I don't know what you would call this the 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 bone or the back part of his faceplate area here. Kind of wish this was a little different shade of color. Maybe a little shinier like this because I believe it was more shiny on the G1. But still, it's still a pretty cool aspect of this. He does come with a couple of accessories. He does come with his weapon here. Sadly, he doesn't come with a sword like his G1 self, which I do believe the Perfect Effect Upgrade Kit is coming out with one for. But still, it's a nice little weapon for him. You can peg him in, peg the weapon in here on his back leg. He got the little peg hole there. And he does have a peg hole up here that you can peg in as well. And that doesn't look too shabby, honestly. That, I have to admit, that does look pretty neat. But... Considering he's a Dinobot, he don't really need a weapon. It doesn't these other peg holes? Because you see, doesn't fit in there. But we'll set that aside. And he does come with this combiner limb, basically the hand. I just I don't like the aesthetic of these. I, I really don't. Uh, they're not bad. I do like. I kind of I kind of like it just a little bit, but I I just don't like them really. It definitely calls back to the Combiner Wars, and you can see. This does peg into here. You can use it as a turn or something if you want to do that for him. And again, it can also peg into the side here if you want to do that. I, I honestly just don't like these things. I, I really don't. I look forward to the perfect effect upgrade for this. But we'll get into all that at another time when I do the Volcanicus review. Let's look at Slag here. Now again, as I mentioned, he is a pretty cool G1 self. Now to transform this guy, he does kind of do his G1 transformation to a degree. To transform him, you want to go back here, back to the tail, split this, and kind of rotate it this way out of the way. Do the same on this side. And you will then rotate here at the hip and rotate this whole section down to form his leg. Do the same on this side. You should note, or I should note right here, when you're pulling this and when you transform it, he does have pegs right there that peg into the peg holes here. That is a nice aesthetic. I really like that it does that. It keeps that nice and sturdy. But we'll rotate these back and up. And we're going to... What we're going to do next is we're going to fold this down just to clear this out of the way. You can fold this up like so just to clear it up. This is how you're supposed to do for transformation. I'm just I'm just moving these legs just to get them out of the way. Again, you want to rotate this 
down, up, and around. And you then slide these back like so. It kind of gives this, and you bend the knee at the knee here to clear that out. The same on this side as well. You do see that little hinge back in there that doesn't come really to play. But then you have his him in his robot lower half in robot mode, getting the stand up sturdy. Wait, I think those are actually supposed to come down to help with the transformation. Let's see here. Yeah, I forgot about that. You gotta kinda hold that back to kinda get those in there. Do that again on this side. Rotate that down. I don't know why mine's let's get that a little bit further up. There we go. That gives it a little bit more heel to it. I'm thinking ahead of myself here. But we'll fold these out for the arms. Straighten those up. Like so. And you reach under here. Under the limb here. And you have your hand. Just kind of unpeg that out. I have no nails really to get that out of there. There we have his hand. And you can rotate this around. If you want to give it the full swivel it does kind of look a little better but it does put his hand upside down on that I kind of wish he could do that did have a little swivel right there just to help straighten that out a little bit just to give it a little bit more clearance make it look a little bit cleaner but that's still pretty nice do the same on this side to flip out his hand like so and we'll straighten the limbs out a little bit. And all you gotta do is reach up here to his mouth. Which I didn't mention this. You can do this in his T Rex or his uh, Triceratops mode. You can have this open to give him a little bit of mouth movement. Which you basically just flip this down and that locks into place. And there we have Slag in his robot mode. Let me raise the camera up. Sorry about that. And you realize it was down that far. But there we have Slag in robot mode. Nice little robot mode. Kind of wish he was a little bit bigger. Other than the ducks, maybe if he was Voyager size. That's the only aspect I kind of wish about these Dinobots is that if they had made Slash into a Deluxe, that would have been pretty cool. If they made the, the ones they made into Deluxes into Voyagers and they made Grimlock a leader, I think that would have been a really nice aspect for these guys. But uh, you can take his gun. And give it to him in his hand. And there you have Slag in his robot mode. Pretty nice. Nice little robot. Uh, I'm not, again, as I mentioned before, I'm not going to do anything for the transformation into Volcanicus. I'm saving that for the last video for this set. But still, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Definitely nice G1 style. Got full articulation here in the shoulder because he's got that ball joint. Does have a hinge here right above the elbow. Does have the rotating ratchet there for the elbow. No, again, as I mentioned, no wrist articulation. Does have a swivel here for his waist. And the same ball joint and swivel and knee joint. Still, so it gives you some good articulation for that. You can, it can give him some good poses like so. Or if you can get it, I actually had this the other day kind of had him in a walking mode which I don't think I got his knee down just right I know I had there we go kind of give him a little bit of a walking pose but does get some good articulation on that but that being said guys this is going to be the end for this review of slag or slug as whichever you want to call him uh, if you like this video please be sure to like comment and share it and as I mentioned this month I'm giving I'm doing a giveaway so if you check out my first video that I put out at the beginning of this month, if you follow that, I have some instructions on there where you got to like, comment, and share that video. you got to also be subscribed in order to get your chance to win a prize at the end of this month, which what that prize was, and you have to check back on that previous video to see. So I highly recommend you guys checking that previous video out. But until then, this is my review of Slag, which I highly recommend you guys do pick up. He is pretty cool. Though, as I mentioned, I do kind of wish he was a little bit, bit bigger. I do think there's a party that I think Wu Jang is doing, you know, doing a uh, oversized version, which eh, probably won't be so bad. I think it's supposed to be 60 or $70 for the set, or maybe more, maybe 80 around there. 
I might get that. Depends on how the funds are. I, I still kind of like this. But until then, guys, this is Dumbass saying thanks for watching today. And I'll talk to you later.